On my first day of drama school, I walked into the lobby and I bumped into this Pakistani dude with a Canadian flag on his lapel. And I got to talking to him after a while and I realised that he'd A, not ever been to Pakistan in his life and was full-blown Canadian and very proud of it. And then later on in life, I met a first-generation Irish immigrant whose dad hated England, hated everything that England had done and was very angry about all these things, which is totally fair enough on his behalf. But he bought a house and his son went to a good school and he got a scholarship and he's now become very successful. And his dad now loves England. And it got me thinking about the nation and being patriotic. If you think about it, all a nation is, is a place where we all live and it's something that unites us, it doesn't matter whether you're black or brown or gay or straight or any of these things. It's just home. Now look, I know that St. George was a Turkish immigrant, The toad in the hole comes from Libya, The sausage and mash is from Turkmenistan, and that roast beef is actually from France. And we all know that there is only one truly British English dish, and that is chicken tikka masala. So why does our flag send Labour politicians and most Conservative politicians into paroxysms of hatred? And they call us flag shaggers and stuff like that. And I think, I don't know is the answer. It's a, it's a hatred of the nation, and I don't think that's right. I think we are a warm, welcoming and tolerant place. So this St George's Day, I'm going to reclaim the flag. I kind of like it. So, wherever you're from, if London is your home, it's as much yours as it is mine, and it's as much yours as it is one of those weird people that have got like their ancestry family tree written on some wall in the loo. It's all of our London, and it's all of our freedom, and we should reclaim it. Happy St George's Day, flag shaggers.